in this video I'm going to be showing you how to prove that root 2 is irrational and I'm going to do this by using a contradiction okay so let's get started so I'm going to say that root 2 is equal to p on q where, uh, where p and q both are integers okay so they're uh, so that's j okay so they're in, so they're integers now just manipulating what I have over there, I can say that 2 is equal to p squared on q squared, which um, which means that uh, 2q squared is equal to p squared. Now, thanks to this 2q squared and the fact that q is an integer must mean that my p squared over here must be even. Okay, so if, if that's the case, p can be written as 2k. Okay, and k again is a integer. Now, if k is an integer, uh, thanks to this thing over here, I can plug it back in here and go that 2q squared is equal to, when I square this, I will end up with 4k squared. Right? So, uh, basically, which means that q squared is equal to uh, 2k squared. Now again, because because we're talking about integers, this q squared, if it's equal to 2k squared, must be even. So sorry, I'm, I'm saying I mean that q must be must be even, right? So if q squared, uh, integer number is equal to two times an integer squared, that must mean that q in itself is is an even number. But hang on, p and q both are even but that can't be because when I when when I said that P and Q represent root 2 they they cannot divide each other at all so you cannot you cannot simplify P and Q anymore okay so they are just as they are so so basically we have come to a contradiction because if I have P on Q and they are both even I should be able to factorize 2 out of both of them, which I which I cannot, okay, because because there's the simplest fraction I can get. So there you go. That's that's a contradiction. Therefore, root two is irrational. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. But please do subscribe. Uh, and thanks for watching.